Hello grade and learners! Have a nice day! Welcome back to my channel! For today's video, I'll be discussing to you about terms related to circle as well as chords, arcs, and central angles. Before I go on, I want to shout out to all the grade 10 learners, especially to the Davao City National High School grade 10 learners. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. Let's begin with circle. When we're going to describe a circle, it is actually the set of all points in a plane that are equidistant from a fixed point, and that fixed point is what we call center. So remember, it is a set of points. So we have here, okay, set of points. Then, the more closer the points, then we can now have this circle. The symbol for circle is this one. This is a symbol for circle. So when we're going to name this, we are going to base the name of the circle to the point on the center. So in here, the name of this circle is circle A. Okay? We are going to base the name of the circle to the center point. Okay. Now let's have radius. Radius is a line segment from the center to any point on the circle. So let's have here our circle. Okay, our radius here is, example of a radius is line segment AB, this one. We can also have line segment AD, okay? The symbol is line segment at the top of the two letters. Next, chord. A chord is a line segment whose endpoints line on the circle. Based on our figure here, we have line segment BC or line segment CB. Okay, we also have here a diameter. A diameter is a chord containing the center. Okay, this is a special chord because it contains the center and it is the longest chord. So in here, our diameter is line segment DB or line segment BD. Next, arc. Arc is a part of a circle. So we have arc, DC as our example. Okay, the symbol for arc is this one. So we have arc DC. We can also have arc CB or arc DBC. Okay. Next, semicircle. Semicircle is an arc of a circle whose endpoints are the points on the diameter. And a semicircle is half the measure of a circle. So in here, we have here a semicircle, half of a circle. We have arc B, C, D. So from here, going to this point, this is the arc. Okay, next, minor arc. Minor arc is an arc of a circle that is smaller than a semicircle. Smaller than a semicircle. So if this is our semicircle, then we can have arc DC as our example or CD for minor arc. We can also have arc CB. We also have major arc. So a major arc is an arc that is larger than a semicircle. So in here, we can have arc D from this point, then going here, B and C, or C, B, D, okay? Major arc. Now let's have the central angle. The central angle of a circle is an angle with its vertex is on the center of the circle, 
and we do radii as its sides. So here we have two central angles. So for example, angle D A C. Okay, this is the first central angle. Next, angle C A B. So this is also the second angle. And the first angle is D A C this one. Okay. Next, we have secant. This is a line that intersects the circle in two points. So in our figure, what is our secant? So our secant here is line C E. The symbol at the top is a line. Next, tangent. Tangent can be a line, a ray, or a segment on the plane of a circle that intersects the circle at exactly one point. And this point is called point of tangency. So from our figure, we have here a tangent line. Okay, and our tangent line is line, this one, line BF. Okay? It intersects at point D, and point D is actually the point of tangency. Now let's have the sum of the central angles. Always remember that the sum of the measure of the central angles of a circle with no common interior point is always 360 degrees. So in here we have four angles. Namely, 1, angle 1, angle 2, angle 3, and angle 4. By the way, in naming an angle, we can name an angle using a number, using three points, and using one point that is on a vertex. In here, we name the angle by using a number. So, in the given figure, it means that the, the measure of angle 1, this M here refers to the measure, measure of angle 1 plus measure of angle 2, plus measure of angle 3 plus measure of angle 4 is equal to 360 degrees. Now the degree measure of a minor arc is the measure of the central angle which intercepts the arc. Okay, always remember this. That the measure of the minor arc is the measure of the central angle which intercepts the arc. In here, we have a central angle, angle DAB. And angle DAB, this angle, intercept arc BD or DB, this one. Okay, this is the intercepted arc. Okay, arc BD is the intercepted arc. So, the measure of angle DAB is equal to the measure of arc DB. So, whatever be the measure of the central angle, that is also the measure of its intercepted arc. So, if the measure of angle DAB, which is the central angle, is equal to 118 degrees, then it follows that the measure of arc BD, the intercepted arc of angle DAB, is also 118 degrees. Next, the degree measure of a major arc is equal to 360 degrees minus the measure of the minor arc with the same points. So we have here a figure. So in the given figure, measure of arc BD is equal to 118 degrees. So this one, arc BD. What is the measure of arc BCD? So the measure of arc BCD, this arc here, BCD. So to get the measure of arc BCD, we have to make use of this concept that arc BCD, which is the major arc, is equal to 360 degrees 
minus the mixture of arc BD. So by substitution, we have 360 degrees minus 118 degrees, the mixture of arc BD. So therefore, mixture of arc BCD is equal to 242 degrees. And last, always remember that the degree mixture of a similar circle is 180 degrees. Yes, 180 degrees because that is half of a circle. And a circle is 360 degrees. Okay, guys, this is just only an introduction. This will be continued in my next video about theorems on inscribed angles. Okay? Thank you so much for watching, guys. Kindly like, and if you have questions regarding the video, just write it in the comment box. Kindly share to other students for them to learn or master the lesson. Please don't forget to subscribe to be updated for more math lesson videos and turn on the bell for notifications. Before I end, let me share to you one of the verses from the Bible. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are called according to his purpose. That's all for today and God bless you all.